It's been 20 minutes. That train is still moving at the exact same speed for 20 minutes now. What was there, two or three engines in the front? We met one, there was one more engine midstream in here somewhere. This is definitely one of the longest trains I've ever seen come through Ottawa here. We're in Ottawa, Iowa. We're running around doing some gallivanting, getting some things done that we need to get done. That's a long train. Out west, uh, out west, you guys have some really long trains. I think this is almost just like one of those really long trains. It's not one of those long coal trains, but holy smokes. think we're gonna be trucking today maybe in this video we're doing some trucking I'm not a hundred percent sure but I missed recording with you guys so I figured I wanted to turn the camera on and uh, just start a video I've been trying to uh, get a lot of those uh, those Topekas because well jazz season never forget that it is jazz season found out some amazing news last night I didn't record any of our jazz contest in uh, in Lamar's I recorded it but not for to show you guys I didn't make it a, a video I just recorded it because I send all the videos to the parents um, a lot of the parents can't make it because these competitions are in the middle of the day so I record it I send it off to them we got second place in districts second place is all we needed to lock in a position at jazz championships in Ames so good job to Gert Page and the kids so that is jazz band jazz band we are off to the championships um, those will be late March I think I'm betting now we just gotta see how we do in jazz choir jazz choir we have about six more competitions left so we're on the go but I haven't been able to uh, weasel my way into any of those uh, Topeka loads and well when I can't weasel my way into them that kind of stinks because well I'm not leaving I, I don't know what else to tell you
Ah, fancy Explorer. Yeah, we're in Pages Explorer. All right, so I was into the bank there and I was talking to um, the bank ladies and one of the guys and I said, man, I think I just probably got stuck behind one of the longest trains I, I've ever been stuck behind here in this part of Iowa. And one of the guys uh, told me that Union Pacific dropped their speeds down. I don't know if it's just uh, they dropped their speeds down coming through town, down to 15, or what the deal is. But every time they come through town now, most of the people that live in town, apparently, I don't even know about it. There's an overpass. If you go down, uh, head north, you can go over the train. I didn't even know that existed, and I've lived here my whole life. Now on to my next addiction. My new addiction. I get addictions here and there, guys. This is my new addiction. No, I'm not making light of addictions, because no, it is not seriously an addiction, but it's a uh, shamrock beautiful thing right there. It's really good. You guys should try it. I'm going to get it in the... I don't know what they call it. We'll see. Um, McFlurry. Yeah, McFlurry. Let's try that. And just like that, my addiction for the Shamrock is over. It is complete. I will not get that again. It's tiny. As you can see, I didn't pay attention to it last time uh, I bought it because I bought me, Paige, and a couple other the the uh, band kid or choir kids, me, Paige, Troy, and a couple other choir kids um, shakes and ice cream after we got done with uh, Shake the Lakes. So I didn't pay attention to how much it was. That is a six dollar uh, drink, six dollars for that itty bitty little cup. So, uh, addiction complete, addiction over, and uh, and that that that's all I gotta say about that. I ain't spending no six seven but six dollars for a for a baby cone. That, that's what it is. It's a baby cone. You didn't think I'd forget about you too, did ya? Did ya? Ooh, what's that? What's in there? And Jack is like, I'm ready. Okay, this one's smaller. There you go, Jax. There you go, Opie. And there you go, Jax. It is 65 degrees in February, so I probably should start taking some Christmas lights down at some point. Man, look at that mud. There's mud everywhere. Once this all dries up, I don't care what the city says, I'm bringing in a, uh, a load of white rock. Probably two loads up here, but one load for sure through the alley. I can cry about it later. Once it's down, it's better to uh, ask for forgiveness than permission. A lot of times in small towns, Nope, we aren't going trucking. I pulled it around back. Wow. <laughs> Mud in my own. Look at that. Picking up some rocks. <clears throat> That's all right. Once she dries up a little bit, unlike uh, packing plants, I will add some mud or add some um, rock. Nope, we're not going trucking. Let's bet you
I bet you thought we were going trucking. No, we're not going trucking. They don't have nothing for the next two days, so I'll be in uh, Jefferson, Iowa for a jazz choir event in two days, so that ain't gonna work out. God, it's my mud. I hate mud. And the only thing I hate worse than anything, man, is mud. Hate it. I'm an old man. He's like, dude, you're killing me off. You're gonna have to work into walking season, aren't we? Jax, those are your feet. I know. Yeah, he is tripping over his own feet, isn't he? Yeah. Well, they've been cooped up in the house, man. Well, Jax has no pee. Well, he's just he's uh he's opie. It's about like when we're in the truck. If I want to uh, go for a serious walk nowadays, I take Opie, we go for a walk, and then I put him uh, back in the truck and I will go on a serious walk. Yes, Sarah still is walking with me. She's in the house, grab blown her nose. She'll be out and she will catch me in a matter of seconds because Sarah is what they call a sprinter when she walks. Told you, she's a sprinter. I went for a walk. I don't want to wither down to nothing, so I need to replenish myself with some bacon. Yeah, that's the same pooch that you guys seen limping like crazy in the in uh, yesterday's portion of the video. It, it is a new day, by the way, and uh, no, we're not trucking. We're gonna take the snowblower back over to my neighbor's house. It's his snowblower. It lets us use it during the winter because, well, it's a nice snowblower. But we're gonna run it back over to his garage. Opie seems to. Watch this. Just watch it. Opie! Oh, come here. I have a personal question. I have to ask you. How do you do all that playing with the ball, jumping around, and digging in my yard but yet when I call your name you limp to me am I met Jax 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 no your dude dude am I missing something
Oopsie, my bad. I forgot to include the exciting trail of taking the snowblower back through my yard and to my neighbor's house. Please accept my utmost apologies. Hi Jax, how are you? I am very sad now. I was all excited. I was taking my Christmas lights down and the alley a block up. I seen the city crew over there working it. They had their tractors, their drags. They were even adding a little bit of rock to that alley up there. So I seen them with the dump truck. And I was all excited. I mean, like, yes, yes, they're going to come do my alley. I don't have to worry about as much mud. I still have to worry about my personal mud. That's mine. That's not mine. Then I seen them drive back to the city shed. So no one is going to do my alley. That makes things worse. They skipped my alley. They did that one, then they jumped mine and went to the one down there. I think I posted earlier in the video how I was just gonna have to add my own rock if I wanted the mud to be gone. I was hoping I wasn't gonna have to do that, but it appears I may have to. It wasn't straight and that bothered me. It is now straight. Plus I was backed up a little bit too far. I was hitting the tongue to the camper that I never use. I did open the canvas, thinking I was gonna start tinkering with it to start getting it ready because Tater Tot informed me she wants to start tent camping more. That was awesome. I loved hearing that. So I decided if I'm gonna use that or sell it. Or if I'm just going to go back to the old tent world on here. Just remember, once I put that camper on here, it doesn't fit in the garage. And that camper takes a forklift to put on to my pickup because it's so wide and high. A tent, you can just throw in back. A lot simpler. But yeah, the truck wasn't straight. It is now straight. did not have to turn down Taylor Swift. But I don't be right. I don't worry about copyright because I only put like an eight second clip of it. So if Taylor's in the background for eight seconds it doesn't copyright me. Perf. Perf. Did you say perv? No, I said perf. Perf as in perfect. Yes. Okay. We'll yeah. go with that. Okay. We're all going to die. Here comes a corner. Are we going to take it fast? She did slow down. Very gracefully, I do say myself. I'm not a graceful person. No, you're not a graceful person. All right, just to prepare you guys for a lot of barking. That's Rose. Here are mom and dad's. 
and the barker is right there. Oh, she's mad too. Jax, come on. Come on, Jax. I know. I know. We gotta go in though. All right, come on, boys. It's the barker. Go. Go in. Go in. Hi, Harley. How are you? Hi, Mom. I didn't do it. I didn't mean to do it. Hey, get out of there. Opie. I thought it was just Rosie's. Get out of there, Rosie. Let Jack have it. Are you making me food? Huh? Are you making me food? Well, getting close to Harley time. Oh, okay. How you doing? Hope he looks very concerned, like he might want something. Yeah. You do it, bud. So does Jax now. After a while here, a little bit. Oh. Oh, here. Wait a minute, boys. There you go. There you go. What do you want? Hope he would love it here. Here, that bud. Why'd you break her treat? She's uh, a... Ah. Are you getting round, Rosie? She's getting a little round. Go. Go. Okay. Okay. With his okay. Hands, he goes, Does he? Want to do that again, Mom? Want to do that again? No. Want to do that again? Rawr. Is that how you scared Dad? That was scary, wasn't it? Yeah. He never comes to bed till two o'clock in the morning. Oh, he's like, like me. Like me. You want to stay here? Huh? You want to stay here? Alrighty, where did I leave you guys at last night? I think we were on our way to go out to eat. That's what we were doing. We were on our way to go out to eat, and then I didn't record where we went out to eat. We went out to eat to a Mexican restaurant. It was very good. Then we came home. All right, so right now we're gonna walk up to the school. We're gonna grab Paige's Explorer, and that's what we're gonna use today, because yes, the dually is still down for the count. I will get it up and going here shortly. I just don't wanna do anything with it right now. Remember, yesterday I was saying how bored I was. I should have been working on the dually, is what I should have been doing, but I wasn't. We're gonna run over to Jefferson, Iowa. We have a jazz choir event we have to go to. It's just a clinician to where the judges will tell us how we can improve or if we're just darn that, that darn good. If some of you have a really good memory, the last time we were at Jefferson, Iowa for a school function, that's where I broke my tailbone. We had my dually. I went to jump out of the pickup in the parking lot and uh, I slipped, and the dually sets a little bit higher than your average truck. It slammed right down on my tailbone. I say break, because if I would have just cracked it, I don't think, I'm not a doctor, but I don't think it would have stayed hurting as long as it did, and as long as it does, it still bothers me. It's a year, it's over, a little bit over a year later, and when I go on trips, in the semi, I don't recognize it because I'm in a recliner, more stretched out. But if I go on trips in uh, any vehicle, Dooley's not too bad. But I will, uh, I will hurt. And if I just cracked it, I don't think I'd still hurt. If I broke it, I think I'd still hurt. I never went to the doctor because I really don't think doctors can do much with a uh, with a tailbone. I, I'm assuming not. It kind of resembles that we hit a unicorn. You know, the pink and the purple. Let's just go with that. We hit a unicorn. We're 
in Denison, Iowa right now. I truly tried. I truly tried to drive past the car wash. This is my favorite car wash here in town. I can't even think of the name of it to tell you the truth. I just know it's not a power wash. And that's what we're stuck with in town back home. This one is called Pit Stop Auto Wash. Best car wash around. And, uh, well, usually I get the, uh, I do the manual. I figured, let's do the automatic. I think it did okay. $27.99, get your hands on Corona or Modelo 24 packs at Al's Liquors, Storm Lake. Coming at you live inside the Pina Vista Regional Medical Center of Storm Lake Studio. Knox Music on deck on Mix 101.7 KAYL. We are about 14 away from the 1 o'clock hour. Yeah, you almost always want to go with your manual car wash versus an automatic. It does a better job. We've made it here to Jefferson, Iowa. I think I forgot to tell you guys, Jefferson's about an hour and a half or about 90 miles from Mapleton. We are in the, uh, the flatland portion of Iowa, if you could catch that when we were rolling. I call this the Flatlanders. I'm not sure if we're on time or not, because if they are, we should be getting in there. Right? So I'm going to get a lot of keys for us. That's all, my sister. All you do is think about me. That's all, my Well, I'd say that was a very nice performance put on by the crew. They did an outstanding job. Like I said earlier, this is not a uh, one, two, three, first, second, third place kind of thing. This was just a clinician basically followed up with a concert. The kids aren't performing the concert. It will be performed by uh, the two people that were doing the clinician. One thing that amazes me is that school. Green County. Very high tech, very modern, and just flat out amazing school. And it's all because of this big building right over here. Well, that's a casino. Wild Rose Casino to be exact. Yes, I'm in the parking lot, but no, I am not going in here. I just figured I'm wasting some time. I'd come in here and show you the big building that I was talking about. I was talking to somebody inside the school. Did you know that 5% of all profit made by that casino goes to the city alone, to Jefferson? Not counting the county, not counting that school if they're right I'm not saying they're right I'm just saying I was talking to them and how much I think I would really want a casino on the outside of my town could you imagine the revenue the money your ambulance your fire department your hospital your clinics your schools your main street your city parks they would all be excellent shape in excellent shape I mean Jefferson is not a big town by no means and it's uh 
without the casino, I'm betting, well, I can almost guarantee that school will not be near as nice as what it is. The hospital in town, I'm betting, would not be as nice as what it is. And I don't really know enough to go really downtown and tell you what would be nice and what wouldn't be. But I will say that casino would be a really good idea on the outside of your town, especially here in the middle of Iowa. You don't gotta worry about hookers. You don't gotta, well, I'm assuming you wouldn't have to worry about that. I know up in Sioux City, that's a really big thing. I remember I went to the Hard Rock Casino and I stayed there when dad had his heart attack. There was a lot of ladies of the night roaming around that casino in the middle of the night. Because I wander, I don't sleep at night, I walk around and I wander. I can't gamble though, I spend a dollar. If I spend one dollar and I lose one dollar, that's what I spent and lost the last time I went to a casino, which was probably 20 years ago. I spent and lost one dollar. I didn't talk to anybody the entire night. Didn't say a word. Well, I was mad. I gambled. I gamble. Not that kind of gambling, though. All right, we're home. This video is just going to keep going. It's one of those videos that goes day by day by day. What are you two doing? Her hair? She cries every time you do her hair. She actually wanted my help. You're crying, aren't you, Paige? Oh, I don't know. I that fixed. You used to do her hair all the time and she'd just cry, cry, cry. Well, I'm just crying because I'm mad at my hair. So my hair doesn't hair. Oh. So you are crying now? Shut up. <laughs> but not because of me. What are you getting all diddied up for? The winter formal. The winter formal. The winter dance. Those are my Cinderella shoes. What is that? It's my huge face. Oh, look at this. This thing rolls by itself. Yeah. That's next level. I literally got this for Christmas, Dad. You looked at it. Oh, yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was part of the Christmas getting that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, you got me curtains. I did get you curtains. Mm -hmm. They're cute. Well, my opinion doesn't matter, but that looks beautiful. Thank you. Alright, <clears throat> let's see what the other kid is up to. Polishing the pickup up. Alright, what are you doing? Cleaning the pickup up. Cleaning the pickup up? Ooh, look at that. You're getting some burns going there. Mm -hmm. Why are you cleaning the pickup up? Well, winter formal. Winter formal. A winter dance up at the school. And both my kids are going to be there. Your sister's upstairs doing her hair. Yeah, alrighty. I figured I'd just come out and check. I'm going to go try making my oatmeal now. Good luck. Yes, yes. It's a never-ending battle with oatmeal. So, yes, I just watched a YouTube video on how to make the perfect oatmeal. I've tried instant oatmeal. No luck. So I bought the good oats. Quaker, you know, made here in Iowa. And, uh, no success. So I'm going to do it on the stovetop. I've been trying it in the microwave, so I'm going to try it in the stovetop. My problem is it's just too runny. Um, the oats don't get cooked, and it's just too runny. Are you guys bored yet with this video? I did a lot today, and I didn't record it, because I figured at some point, yeah, the dot is back, too. At some point, these guys are going to be bored with what I'm doing. Old-fashioned oatmeal. Okay, so I'm not going to make you guys watch me do this. I'm just going to cook it and if it turns out good I will show you. Last night's attempt. That's not good. This looks pretty good. Let's add to it. What do you think, German? That look pretty good? Looks good for me. Does that look good for you? They say it one more time, sir. I'm going to snap. Why? It's caramel. Look at the spelling. It's C A 
C-A-R-A-M-E-L. Caramel. Caramel. No, caramel would be C-A-R-M-E-L. Caramel is C-A-R-A-M-E-L. Caramel. Caramel. Gonna want a full body shot. I'm just telling you. She's I zooming in again. I already did. Oh, okay. She did she once. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Just letting you know. What are you laughing at? You're next. Not yet. You wearing the hat all night or? If I can. Yeah. Okay. Just check. I don't know if you'll be able to. Then I take it off. It's not going. Alright, she's doing good. I'm watching over Mama. She's taking good pictures. That poor child. <laughs> there you go. The love. The love. <laughs> it's like... The rest of the dress. You're supposed to go down to the floor. What the hell? <laughs> Best prom, Grandma. She's got shorts on underneath that. I mom. do. You see? got your shorts on? <laughs> okay. Okay. As long as yes. you got shorts on. She's got <laughs> shorts on underneath of <laughs> it. Okay. See, if she puts her hands here. down, it's still longer than her hands. Oh my gosh, you ain't got no bra on, Paige. She <gasps> don't look at that. It's built in. I don't need one. Paige, how dare you not have a bra on? Oh my gosh, Paige. 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 I guess. You well, you're the one taking pictures. Okay. She, says, taking picture? she says her phone is the top notch. And yeah. Honey, I don't think that's a She's good picture. Right. What are you doing? What are you doing? Your lens is filthy. It Your is lens not. is filthy. <laughs> filthy. Are you, are you videoing? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What a zoo. <laughs> what was that? That's that my does. tummy. Who's? Mine. Communicating. It's because I made oatmeal and it just is not. I okay. don't like oatmeal anymore. I My guess. Right. <laughs> right. Are you centered with the TV? Go go to the left a little bit, Lisa. He's got to make it. A little bit, little bit, little bit. Right there, right there. Perfect. You go ahead and take a picture. I will. Okay. I think Lisa picked out the pink for his underglow. Oh, it's pink? Yeah, it's she, more purple. she jumped in the pickup. She turned it on right away. So I'm assuming it's it's the <laughs> the color she chose. I don't know. It looks pink and purplish to me. It looks purple. It does. And he does usually have it on purple. Oh, nope, now we're on green. Now it's going green. No, now we're going to blue. Oh, now blue. We're rotating. <laughs> no. He controls it with his phone. Yeah, he controls it with his phone. It's green! She just had to check. Did you see that? Yeah. She just had to check. Did you drink? Did you get stoned? Or what did no, you do last night? I went to night? McDonald's. You went to McDonald's after the dance. The ice cream machine was broken. That was kind of sad. I don't think their ice cream machine ever works. And then, we went to the gas, and then we went to the gas station to get ice cream, and their ice cream machine was broken. But they had slushies. Poor kid. Food is very high on our priority list. McDonald's last night, and now we're going to go eat FFA. Yeah. Yeah. So, Owen was the bouncer last night, is what I heard. Yeah. Owen Boyle. Yeah. Yeah, he was a bouncer. My tummy is complete. Good. That was a good omelet. That, I had it, cinnamon roll. This was good. The whole works. Oh, my tummy is full. Good. Everybody wave at Paige's babysitting kids. Her fan club. Her fan club. All right, we had a beautiful meal. Beautiful FFA. Fed meal, Paige. It was good, right? Yeah. Yes, very good. Now we're going to head to Sioux City. Um, this is going to be the last portion of this video because we head back into the truck tonight, and I'm going to make that a separate one. We're going to head to Sioux City. Trap season's coming up, and we need to get Troy a gun. 
So grandpa's gonna go with us. We're gonna take the Explorer because it has the most room. We are going to have five people in here. Grandpa does not yet, yet know that we are going to go shopping for Paige for some shoes what? and some pants. What? I will tell you now, Grandpa, I hope you had fun. I've only been waiting for an hour. Grandpa! Look at him. He's like, eh. He went down and got an omelet breakfast to go. That's what he did, because that's a cinnamon roll from down there, Paige. That's what he did. And he's going to put in coffee in your car. And he just spilled it on his hand. You're spilling coffee before you get into the car. <laughs> Don't you make a mess in my car, Grandpa. Of the pants. <laughs> They're great. Paige, hey. it's your twin. I know. But it's your it's your dirty Nebraska twin. Well, they also don't have a bra. Yeah, she needs to put a bra on. Wow, I think I kind of like the bra more than not the bra. What do you think? I don't know. It's, well, it's your car. What do you think? It's just there. I don't like how this sticks up. Well, that's supposed to stick up. A little water gets trapped in there. That's a very dirty car. Mine like, looked way worse than that. The one uh, I know. I'm very judgmental when it comes to the cleanliness of cars. I'm going to try beating it into my children. All right, Shields is completely packed today, and we are going to try to make this work. I'm not going to have a people meltdown. And we're going to pull it off with success. Did you get it? They have two. Where's the other one? Well, no, that's the only, they have two in the house. They only have two gun, two sportings. That's one. That's a, that's it right there. The other one's in the warehouse, in the back. Are they going to get it? No, we only, we only need one. Well, why aren't you holding it? Well, we just put it up. We just put it back. We just did. Does it fit you? Yeah. Show it. I don't have to take this one to get fitted? Um... I'd, I'd, I'd like to have him look at it with him to make sure that the cheek is just right and everything. Okay. Come on, Dad. Come on. Come on, Dad. You can do it. Come on, Dad. We're almost to the car. Come on. Come on. You know what you can do? It's for YouTube, Dad. Don't, don't cuss. Oh, boy. You're lucky. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're home. It's a beautiful day out. 70 degrees, February. You can't beat that. I have a video I need to edit up to get out to you guys tonight. I have a truck that needs completely greased up. All the fluids topped off. Bed's made, and it ready to hit the road. I'm a very irresponsible person. If you guys don't know it by now, I'm gonna go for a ride. If anything, at least wash it.
it's still kind of chilly out. It's not 70, it's like 58, almost 60, but it's basically almost 70 degrees out. That was a nice little ride. Uh, if you're new to the channel, no, I cannot put uh, just the sound of the bike. I have to put music over it, or as you guys would just hear, and a lot of wind. So, usually that's about the only time I throw music to the videos is whenever we're on a bike adventure. Or sometimes I just let you listen to the wind. I know trucking together drives her crazy. Haha, -ha. I do it as a funny, funny haha -ha thing whenever she watches. She, uh, Alice, she's like, man, that wind drives me nuts. I go, yeah, I know, I do it just for you. All right, we're gonna call this video done. I have to go grease the truck up and uh, probably should edit up a video to get out tonight. Yeah, we're in the truck now, okay? You guys stay safe, and as always, I see you next time. Man, this big girl's been some places. We have Ocean City, Maryland. We did that last year. We went to Ocean City. We got some of Am's oil right there. Rockford, South Dakota, a few times. Copper Harbor, Michigan. Poopies, of course. Ocean City. Went to Virginia. Wyoming, a couple times. Lexington, Kentucky. I drove the entire Blue Ridge Parkway. Buffalo National River. I can't remember where that's at. I think that was when we were on our Kentucky trip. Jasper, Arkansas. Back of the Dragon. We did that one. I actually have that shirt on. She's been a few places. Definitely been a few places. <laughs>